Well, TikTok has basically just announced an Instagram killer photo sharing app, right? Where Instagram basically says, well, people just prefer video way over photos. You just got to deal with it, right? Well, not for TikTok. Seems like they want to take all the frustrated Instagram photographers and creators with open arms and create basically a new version of Instagram, kind of like we had it back in 2016 when photos were just the only thing that's on there and stories, but well. Some of you actually sent me some sort of leak, some sort of screenshot from this new TikTok photo sharing app, which basically says, whether you're a world traveler, food blogger, or simply enjoy sharing what's going on in your life, TikTok Photos is our all new photo sharing platform where we've made it easier to enjoy and discover photo posts. Huh. Very interesting, and to be honest, I don't even really know what to think of it. But I did some digging, and I actually even found a website of this already. Seems like the name is either TikTok Notes or TikTok Photos, because yeah, it doesn't matter whether you go to notes.tiktok.com or uh, photos.tiktok.com. This is what you will see here. Yeah, kind of reminds me of Instagram, obviously. And if we take a look at the icon, there also is a logo of some sort, which has, if you ask me, a P in it and a semicolon. I don't know, but uh, yeah, if it's a photo sharing app, mostly, why would they call it notes? Well, we'll see. Anyway, it does, doesn't matter at this point. Now, for me, though, this whole thing begs the following questions. First of all, why don't they include this whole thing within TikTok? The existing app already seeing as carousels are crushing it already, right? Even slightly more so than on Instagram, which is also kind of interesting. And if you remember a few months back, we de deconstructed this ultra viral carousel here on this channel. You know, this French dude, if you remember, just shows that there's huge demand already. It doesn't matter which platform. Seems like the whole thing works already. So why overcomplicate things, right? This is basically what got Instagram with this whole frenzy it is right now. Just making everything too complicated and bloated. Now, the second question that I have is, do we really need another yet another platform that is just photos only. And I'm not saying that people don't want photos, right? Or they don't want to share photos or consume photos because you know, officially, officially 50% uh, of Instagram reach currently right now are photos already. But just coming from that, does anybody here remember Vero? The Instagram killer app from 2018 already back when people said Instagram is dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, it actually kind of had a comeback last year or something like that. And photographers loved it. Everybody was like, well, Vero is the next big thing. Fuck Instagram. Even Peter McKinnon, basically, the photographer of social media, made a video saying something along the lines of, well, Instagram's end is here, you know, with the Vero logo in there, hinting towards Vero being the future for photographers. And he kind of made the switch to Vero or something like that. Now, actually, just because it's interesting for me, let me take a look at Vero right now. I haven't logged on there for a while. Okay, I only see Peter McKinnon, which is just interesting. Maybe it's just because I only follow Peter McKinnon and nobody else. But let's just take a look. Peter McKinnon, 280,000 followers, kind of a lot. But then again, take a look what he has on Instagram. I don't even know a lot. But the last photo he posted was more than a month ago, February 29. And he has 22 comments. Yeah. And 1,300 likes. You're even less. I mean... I'm not saying that likes and vanity metrics are the most important thing. Obviously, not at all. But let's take a look at Instagram. Last time he posted actually was two days ago. And this is a very awesome photo. So it's probably an outlier, but it is an awesome photo. And it has 280,000 likes and 4,000 comments. Well, I mean, obviously it's an outlier, but still, right? Posting a lot more on Instagram again. Just pictures. They got a lot of reach. Well, yeah, you get what I mean. Now, overall, as much as I like Vero as a platform and its idea, you know, let's just take a look at the featured photographers right there. Jody McDonald, 20K followers. Even the featured photographers who were basically on the Explore page who have amazing photos, literally. They don't have a lot going on for them right now. Again, I'm not saying this should be necessarily the way to measure yourself. Many the metrics likes, but as with anything online, especially if you want to make money at some point with your social media presence, the most important thing just is the traffic. Is the traffic, the reach is not there. Well, what are you going to do then? And then it's just a hobby, which is okay too, by the way. So just seeing that, why would we need another dedicated photo app, especially coming from TikTok, which is kind of funny because Instagram becomes TikTok, TikTok talk, tries to become everybody talking about the identity crisis that we're, we're talking about especially about Instagram back in the days. Seems like everybody has an identity crisis. 
but maybe it's not even TikTok's intention, right? Maybe they just want to explore the whole photo avenue further because they see a lot of good data, you know, a lot of carousel reach going on, a lot of engagement with photos, and they're maybe afraid of going, first of all, the same route as Instagram, again, kind of alienating their existing user base, which they're essentially already doing anyway, TikTok, with the long form videos and they're kind of alienating their short form video creators but thinking about it as a whole this new platform might be even good for the social media landscape as a whole right especially for instagram because maybe photos will get just a little bit more boost and a little more make people more aware of this medium again you know especially opening up another avenue a much needed avenue for creators who just don't want to create videos obviously there's a lot of awesome creators who can create amazing you know photos carousels captions whatever it is content basically but who just don't want to create videos just because it's not for everybody Remember, there used to be blogs, there used to be everything, right? And if we take a look at Instagram, it kind of is here already, this whole thing between videos and photos, because right now these ultra short reels, you know, which are essentially long photos, right? Seven second reels with a valuable caption actually outperform most other content currently, right? We've talked about it in my latest video. Tell me, would you download it? Would you want to give it a try? I personally don't think a dedicated TikTok photos app is actually what we need, what the world needs. Just let me know what you think. Also, and this kind of make me think from the other angle, if TikTok launches a photo app that is standalone outside from, from their current app, do you think that maybe real should have been a standalone app just for videos and then keep Instagram as the thing that it always was? Again, write me a comment. I'd love to know. Exciting nonetheless, just because competition is always good right that's why i'm totally against the the, the ban of TikTok, for example that's been talked about because we need innovation we need things to keep moving forward especially for the users and for creators now with that being said even if you're a photographer you can still grow like crazy on instagram you know, as a photographer, the most prominent example is this creator mentorship student, Kosti, for example, who's just crushing it, who has amazing pictures like so many other photographers, but he just knows how to package it and how to kind of put his photos out into the world, kind of optimize it for, you know, what the algorithms want, but also obviously what people want, because otherwise he wouldn't grow like crazy. Now, shout out to him. If you want to join the next cohort of the creator mentorship, there's a link down below. We have seven spots remaining five spots remaining i don't know we'll start pretty soon it'll be an eight weeks run where you and me will work closely together and my team and we'll go through all the necessary steps basically the same thing like we did with Consti. more information is down in the description and yeah what should i say why don't you just watch this video next to blow up your instagram anyway before that so you won't even need another app by the time it comes out